Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, yo, cut the earrings, man. Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah. Sister of knowledge, yo. Tell them what you do. Ha. Oh. Tell them, look. See, see, you see, no, see I don't their really that me feeling? Nah, come on. I do sell African. Plug, plug, plug yourself. I sell African Go Moroccan goods. And my website is www.sweenmoroc. That's spelled Z W E E N M O R O C dot com. And the Moroc is because she actually goes to Morocco. And Sween means beautiful. And I'm going to Morocco next week. She's always going to Morocco. <laughs> this is my album, Costello, on the road to Morocco. She's always in Morocco. <laughs> oh, wait. Come back, come back, come back, real quick. How can they contact you like on the day to day? Like, you got some phone numbers? Uh, Are I you allowed to do that? Uh, no, but I gave you my website, so check out the website www.sweenmoroc.com. And they can get, get things personally made, right? Like bags and things like that. You can get all of your bags, you can get your leather slippers, you can get your um, ceramics, you can get candle holders, you know, all beautiful, bright, nice things. Peace out. That's how we do, yo. That's how we do. And this brother so, as well. And, oh, 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 one second, one second. Now, this, this, this is another plug. I can vouch for this. I know when to get onto me, but I don't really matter. How do people matter more than me? How do, how do people matter more than me? Tell you what to say. Check this guy over here. Track him on the beat. Get the bass. Get the bass. Leroy, get the back. Get the back. Get the back. So, on the, on the same kind of tip, right? I know this boy for years as well, right? In the community. Him and his beautiful wife. He makes things also for your personalization. Brother, explain what you do, what you can, what you can give to the people. Okay, I'm Gebra from Black Stars Clothing. Yeah. Okay. African oriented. <laughs> he playing like his camera shy. Don't play that. Come on, man. African oriented clothes. <laughs> and you can reach me. Look, the brother does stuff like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Poole. Sean Poole, that's what the people want to see look, in the home tree stand. Look, 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 look. Sean Poole. Nice look. African stuff. It's probably make you anything like that. Yeah? So, Personalize yeah. Personalize anything. Yeah. Personalize the the customers. Yeah, you customize. Yeah, yeah, you customize. Because I can customize, personalize prints, whatever you want. I can do that. I can do like, I can do business, business name, I can do website, email address, anything like that. Wait, you can build websites? No, no, if you want. Oh! <laughs> oh, you, you mean contact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. You want contact detail. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, I can I'm just getting some clarity. Okay, yeah, I get you, I get you. How accessible are you to the people? Oh, I'm very accessible. Um, I'm very not. website, WW what? Facebook or anything. Like that. Facebook. Debra Kalonji. That's G E B G E B R A K A L O N J I. But your name is Debra. Debra though. Yeah, Debra. Oh, I thought yeah. Debra. His name is not Debbie. It's not Debbie. It's not Debra. Don't come on that. No homo. No homo. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Bring it yes, Debra Kalonji um, or Black Stars Clothing. Black Stars Clothing. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. Love, love what's Thanks the number? What's the, what's the digits? Thanks for the press. What's the... Uh, what, are you cool with phone the, numbers? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, phone numbers? Where they can... Did you... Did you about the press? Is at the top cover? Oh. A t-shirt... A t-shirt like, like that one? Yeah. We'll or like what you wearing? A t-shirt okay, like go. this will go for 15. 15. Yeah. Okay. Pendants and, and jewelry. Yeah, what about yeah, I think you're the African no, earrings. No, okay, so forget that. So anyway, so t-shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies. I know you do hoodies coming into the winter time. Yeah, I do some hoodies as well. It's going to be a hard winner in the UK. Yeah, everything, you know that. shorts, vests, I do everything. I do a sports range as well. So I, I do like vests and shorts, like Black Stars sports. I do that. Sports range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if a, whole, if a whole basketball or soccer team wanted to kit, kit it out, you know, the youth yeah. in the urban areas, if the whole team wanted, yeah. if any coaches are watching or any schools watching yeah. and they got together, you can do a deal for a team. Mm -hmm. yeah, kit a whole girl team out, whole that, yeah. boys team out. What you said, what you said. Yeah. Everything I said. Yeah, 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 that. Everything I said. So you gave them your phone number and all that. Yeah. Right, you get lost now. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> zero, zero seven nine four three one four seven zero six eight. If you're outside of the UK, just add plus forty four and cut up the zero, and you know you can scale. All right, peace out. Y'all take care. Have a, have a nice evening. Bless y'all. Any queries? Follow your boy Brooklyn. Also for nine four two two one twenty four. The home tree stamp. Yeah. YouTube the home tree stamp. Facebook the home tree stamp. Live in the place to be. So this is the home tree stamp. I said it. So where was it? Who's at the carnival? So yeah. Um, yeah. So it wasn't all negative. I'm saying that the, the the police thing. What they do is they bring in a lot of cups. You ain't even heard the cops saying that, right? When they go into their cops, I don't know what they're thinking for. But they say uh, something like the worst event of the year they like doing is the Notting Hill carnival. Come on! There must be worse events than doing a Notting Hill Carnival. 
But the thing is, half of these police officers, these rookies that they bring in to police the Hill Carnival, ain't from the, the, the they ain't from inner London. They're not from urban communities. They're from you know, they're from your um, not your hamsters, but they're from your your royal court. They're from your the Kingston by Richmond, the Enfields, you know, Kingston upon Thames, and you know the mad like suburb that touch the home counties where London, you know, it's twined with, with um, Surrey, Sussex, Kent. Essex County, that way, Middlesex County, that way, and whatever, whatever, Buckinghamshire, whatever, Hertfordshire, you know, because London is that big. So a lot of them are not used to that, you follow? So they don't like mixing like that. So they're not trained, they're not trained to tell people where to go. I see people getting told to go in one direction, they don't know how to interact with people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, it's different. So, you know, I mean, last kind when you saw officers doing, what you call that? Uh, the limbo and all that, you know, mixing in, having fun. This year was none of that. I just see RoboCup armored up, ready to go. You know, sir, protect, I'm breaking the girl's neck. But anyway, let me keep it positive. The next day now, I did manage to come early. I said, you know what, let me jump on the subway and come off at the a station before. Because the night before, what they done, they closed the station where no people normally get off. So I managed to come out early with the bags and we set up. I sort of set it up in my old spot, and that was good, progressive. However, the police force, they was, over, they was overdoing it, with too much officers on the street, right by my table. So I had to go and speak to one of the sergeants and said, look, I'm not being funny, the way you bring your officers stationed near my table, it looks intimidating. We don't suffer that around here each year. And you tell your peoples to go over there or go over there. And he went and told them. And people started laughing, I go, don't laugh. It's not a laughing matter. I didn't do anything extraordinary. I know my law. You know what I'm saying? I said, look, you just move from my table, you make it look intimidating. You scare my customers away and I'm trying to tease that. It looks intimidating. Yeah, come on, I'm not under the, I'm not under the context of Rome. So I don't have to bow down to their Roman antics. So you move your centurions over there, over there. I was glad about it, it was a good. I didn't say like, fuck the police and all that shit. I've been nice about it. I said, look, I'm being straight, I'm doing something here, I'm educated. Can you move your people out to the left or the right and let us build? We can go, we have a nice day, you have a nice day, you leave me alone, I leave me alone. That's simple. So did a lot of people out here kind of come and chat the group? Yes. Yes, they do. They do. But a lot of them was a lot of them, a lot of them were surprised that I was back on my old spot because they'd not seen me there for the last five years. But I'm, I'm here, there and everywhere, but they'd not seen me at the Caribbean parade for the last five years. I just stopped going. I lost interest. It was, you could see the nature was going. I know. I'm still. They was trying to commercialize it more. Um, too much regulations. And, and where we where we was actually at? Here. But the street the street we was actually on. The street we was actually setting up. It runs it runs parallel to different London bubbles. So on one side you're in Chelsea and Kensington. And literally across the street, you're in the borough of Westminster. Mm -hmm. And two of them had both different regulations, and it was one street festival. So there's a lot of there was a lot of uh, politics going on. You can't display this, you can't do that. I was like, if I ever do the parade again, I go back to old school. I'd sell whistles and flags and, and cut up sugar cane and overprice some of the people. Or not, you know. I'm out, I'm, I gotta do that. I'm an hustler. Yeah, but, um, yeah, cut some sugar cane in quarters and just sell them for ridiculous prices. And keep it basic. Because the only thing about doing the parade is that people don't want to hear the knowledge. You know what I mean? They ain't got time to listen and engage. Some of them do. The, the good thing is that I, I still had mothers. I still had mothers coming down there with their children saying, "Oh, Brooklyn, I want to learn." They were buying, they were buying uh, black animations for their children. They were buying black economics and things of that nature. So that was good. Other than that, people want to go down there and wind up and all that. But so my thing is, I tried to flip on people, and I'm gonna put out a video soon about that. I tried to flip on the people and say, "Well, how many of you even know the real history of the carnival anyway?" Most of them don't even know the real history of it. Most of them don't know about, I know it sounds repetitive, about the wind loss. I'm like, you want a real battle leader of why the carnival is still so successful in its original state? Well, not now, but how it was. They need to study things like the wind loss generation. When people settled in areas like Northern Hill. My mom even settled in Northern Hill. And I lived in Northern Hill for a while, and I loved it down there. Real nice, yeah. Real yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had this whole table out, man. Well, you know how I get down. I had the banner down, we had flags, I had brothers beside me doing the flags. And I had a few minutes of the Caribbean parade, obviously, 
you know, people want their Bayesian flags, St. Lucian flag, Dominican flag, Jamaican flag. Everybody want to be separate. And that's part of the feud is a meaning. But there was a meme going around on social media just before the parade came up because that week, the week before, you had another parade somewhere. But that week, the London Carnival, you had a parade in uh, Leeds at the same time. Leeds being like the North of England. And then the week after, I think you had Reading. And the week just gone now, it was in Monday, so now you had one back in Brooklyn, which is obviously the Labor Day, could be a parade. But the meme going around now, social media is like, why are you all so separate and divided with your individual flags? So certain people still, they was like, yo, better out of St. Lucian flags. So for a joke, I'm like, you ran out of St. Lucian flag? Okay, be St. Vincent for the day. You ran out of St. Vincent flag? Be Bayesian for the day. You ran out of the Bayesian flag? Well, fuck it, look, you're all black, man. Why not unite under one one flag that describes you all? And how did they react to that? What flag? You know, that's for sure. Because when you get your, uh, you get your uh, red, gold, and green, obviously, most of them didn't even know what it meant. That's sad. In 2016, you don't know what it meant. You know what's worse? Most of them didn't even recognize the RBG, which is basically what we call so called, I'm not even saying conscious community. People who know, know RBG, the flag, what Marcus Garvey pioneered. And this one here is I'm going to keep women in the Garvey movement. A lot of people don't even know there was women who spearheaded the Garvey movement. So a lot of you brothers need to shut up and come down here and learn. Yeah? And strategically, I put women in the Garvey movement right next to Shiro's, which is next to Heroes. Because we have prominent sisters who led us. And you all know that the black woman has got, I don't know how many times I've got to say that. Come get your posters, come edify yourself on some black The black woman has got, and so many women led us into battle. Most of our victorious wars, they did up, led by women. The women are our tribal leaders. This you, the Nafaru, I'm speaking to you all. You know what I'm saying? I know you like using words like queen and all that, but for those who know, queen is not really a positive way to, to, to um, describe our goddesses and our tribal leaders. I prefer tribal leaders. What's the difference? It's queen. No, the European definition of queen is a lady of the night. Lady of the night. Like like yeah. You know, like um, Queen Elizabeth, who uh, presides over England. <coughs> queen Elizabeth. So, anyway, just give it up the negativity. Back to Carnival now. Yeah, what I was going to mention is that on the Sunday now, I was out here. Now, at 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, on the same day, the parade goes over two days, but really it's three days, keep it real, also close it On the Sunday, the police was by the subway station entrance, right? Now you're going to be like, what's so weird about that? Well, the local soccer team wasn't playing, there was no football game going on, but the police was there with the vans there, and these are transit cops, or what you call British Transit, British Transport Police Department. They was there. The only thing missing this year was the big police detector. Now this is on the day of the kind of 11 in the morning. Now, they was here. You're gonna see the pattern, right? They was here in Seven Sisters, which is South Tottenham, London, N15. Don't get it twisted. They was also in Brixton, Harsden, Kenzo, Wembley, Hackney, Peckham, Crater, see the pattern. They was in certain neighborhoods on the day of the kind. So they, were, they had spotters, spotting, more than three youths of color constitute a gang at that time of year when the car was on. So if more than three youths are coming to the subway, walking to the subway at 11 in the morning, making their way to the carnival, to the parade, the police are going to bug the under. Where are you going? What's in your bag? What's in your bag? What's your name? What gang you for there with? More than three considered a gang. But more than five other people in the other background, not looking at anyone. Just go, yeah. Draw your name. But before they even get there, and we what? We something like eight miles away from the parade district? This is probably like eight miles away, right? Something like that. We're about eight miles away. Eight or nine miles away from where the carnival parade takes place. But on all these certain strategic locations where urban communities are, the police is there. Last year they had the metal detector here. That's, I thought that was a cheek. Yo, that's it. The metal detector was right here before you even got on the train. The metal detector and the dog. I understand the dog. You know, the dog went to town, made you carrying drugs. And you know, you all know that I don't like drugs. Don't like you scummy fucking drug dealers. Sorry, it's curve, but that's right. I don't like you drug dealers and you ain't done nothing in the community. So, you know, if you carry drugs, you get pulled up. Guess what? You just have to get pulled up. No one told you to carry the drugs. So, anyway, it's just selling death. Yeah? The drugs ain't cool. Back to Green Jail now. Just say no! That reminds me, man. This is probably a way above your age, though. Well, I'm not saying that you're that young. But back in the day, yeah. Yeah. 
Let me catch some panto. Wrap that real quick. So we're gonna make a sound. So you can pause that and make that panto. So, yeah, yeah, yeah.